Yes, so myself, Dr. Sriraj Talwadekar. I am an assistant professor at said GS Medical College and KEM Hospital, Mumbai. And I am also the infection control officer in KEM uh, Hospital Infection Control Committee. So the IPC training program, uh, I will say, was and is the need of the hour. Uh, the uh, modules set by Echo India with uh, inputs from the experts were very relevant, they were very precise. All healthcare workers know that infection prevention control is really necessary, it's very important and especially highlighted during the COVID-19 pandemic. And I would like to compliment Echo India for making such a wonderful modules and also it was completely hassle-free, no technological uh, snags or anything, no connection problems and it was almost flawless. As all of us know, during an online training program, to keep the participant engaged is a difficult task. But uh, we used to make it, the modules itself were very interactive and we also as trainers tried different techniques to keep the uh, participants engaged. We demonstrated them certain things, we used to um, uh, add humor in between and uh, we used to call out names and ask them particular questions so that, that they remained focused. And uh, as we saw the responses of the participants during and even after the lectures that they were very much engaged in the conversation and it was more of a two-way discussion rather than a straight one-way uh, lecture. Uh, the lectures were per se not very theoretical, yes some parts of theory were uh, there but we kept it very interactive and uh, as myself as a trainer I made them demonstrate like hand hygiene for example or proper wearing of the N95 respirator. I made them demonstrate with the cameras on uh, uh, the bandwidth permitting and then uh, they actually demonstrated those steps so they kept engaged. It was so good that I used to enjoy teaching and I used to look forward to the next session. So if the trainer is enjoying, I guess the trainees must be enjoying as well. The ECHO model basically focused on bridging the gap between a per peripheral centre and a tertiary centre. We all know that some, most of the peripheral centres, they don't have enough faculty, they don't have experts. Some of them even don't have a microbiologist to follow the proper infection and prevention and control. So uh, here, due to the ECHO model, there has been bridging of the gap bet uh, between these uh, two centres. and. Uh, we found during the training that some of the precautions the healthcare workers did not follow, not because they did not want to, but they were not aware of these precautions uh, or they were not updated about these precautions. So in this way, the dissemination of knowledge from experts to those who really needed it uh, is going to help a lot. It will help the community as well and will certainly empower the healthcare force for any such pandemic-like events in the future. My message to Echo India would be to continue the good work, uh, not just looking at the healthcare workers' perspective, but when we teach them, they go and teach their family, the kids, and also the others in the house who may not come from a medical background. So this will not only prevent COVID-19, but the hand hygiene, etc. will also prevent other diseases like diarrhea and even the uh, respiratory etiquette will prevent uh, diseases like tuberculosis. So as a whole, the community is going to benefit from it. So the bigger picture for Echo India would be to continue the sessions and also more knowledge should be disseminated, more awareness to be created all around uh, Maharashtra and all the other uh, avenues they can find.